so uh, uh, it gives me another great pleasure. I, it seems like I get to introduce everybody that I work with all week uh, so far. Uh, I got to introduce you know, sort of Kevin yesterday, uh, and now it really gives me great pleasure to introduce Mark James, who is our Director of Undergraduate Studies. And what Mark is going to do is uh, to announce uh, the winners of the Homecoming Writing Awards. So uh, without further ado, since I know that's what you're really waiting on, here they come. Anyway, all right, Mark. I have a fun, a fun job uh, now. I get to announce the winners of the Homecoming Writing uh, Contest. And um, just a little bit of background. Um, so uh, we put out the call for um, entries uh, just a little over a month ago and uh, uh, asked for entries in three different categories, um, poetry, scholarly essays, and uh, short stories and creative nonfiction. And we ended up this year receiving um, just under 150 entries, which was uh, a big jump even from, from last year when we had received about 100, and that was more than it had been the, the previous year. So um, it was uh, nice to see the, a large number of entries. Um, and uh, yeah, so we um, have worked uh, with a group of judges taking a look at all these entries and come up with um, three three winning uh, entries, so we'll, we'll announce those. And before I do, I'd just like to say um, thanks um, on behalf of the uh, awards committee and the English department to the, all of the, the students who submitted entries and to the judges who took a close look at all those entries. Um, so what we'll do, um, we've got three um, uh, winners who I'll, I'll announce now, and I'll ask uh, each person to come up one at a time. Um, we have a certificate for you, and uh, we're going to hear um, a short excerpt from each of those uh, individuals' um, winning entries. Um, so we'll do that one at a time. And then when we're finished with the three, I'll ask uh, all three to come back up, and we're going to take a, a, I think we'll take a picture of the three, uh, three winners together. Uh, so first, in the poetry category, we have uh, David Close. And this was um, a poetry collection beginning with, for example, uh, um, a poem titled Whole Way Home. Is David here? David's not here. Okay, so I, I thought that every, the, all three were going to be here, but um, okay, so I'll, I'll touch base with David afterwards. Um, so we'll go to the next category then, which was uh, scholarly essays, and this is uh, Sarah Slater, and the title of this um, entry was The Murderess and the Victim. Is Sarah here? Go on up, Sarah. <laughs> Great, I'm going to have a certificate for you. Thank you. Good job. And are you going to read a... I actually did not bring it. Since it is a scholarly essay, um, I wrote about uh, Agamemnon and uh, the Trojan woman, and I uh, compared Cassandra with Clemptemnestra, and I thought, since not everyone's read those, possibly it might be a little confusing. So I decided not to. That's a, but that's the, <laughs> that's the gist of it anyway. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> Good. Okay, and we have uh, one more, and this is for the category short story. Um, Mia Aguilera, and the title is Niagara, Fall, uh, Niagara Falls. Is Mia here? Come on up, Mia. And we have a certificate for you as well. That's for you. Congratulations. You. And are you going to read a, yeah. a, a short piece? Come on up. Okay. I'll step out of your way. Okay. Um, my, my story is titled Niagara Falls. Emily and Elijah were 19-year-old twins. They were each other's shadow. 80% of their time was spent in proximity with one another. It was enough to be in the same room, sitting in silence, one occupied with a crossword and the other drawing, comforted by each other's presence. And yet she had never told him she loved him, and neither did he say he loved her. They never hugged and could not wish each other a happy birthday without saying asshole or bitch afterwards. Instead, they expressed affection in different ways. Emily brought him food when she knew he hadn't eaten anything all day and watched him gobble it down like a hungry dog. This is the best thing I've ever had, he said. It was only Wendy's. Um, so Elijah gets diagnosed with juvenile Huntington's disease. And um, this is just a short section of Emily kind of contemplating this. Um, but at night, Emily's nonchalance faded, and she shoved her face into her pillow to muffle the sound of weeping. She could not imagine Elijah turning into the relatives she had been so frightened of as they deteriorated. The sporadic, then continuous, jerky movements of their entire bodies was so off-putting, they no longer seemed human, but rather an alien species, and, em and Emily would have difficulty remembering who they had been before the disease. 
Emily wept for this reason and because part of her was dying as well. She felt her brother was more than half of her. They were nearly one being. It didn't matter who was diagnosed. The result was the same for both.